The fun thing about hunting the desert is it seems like every place you stop to hunt can be a completely different environment than the previous spot that you hunted. Whether you're hunting Mern's quail in the mountains, Gamble's quail down in the washes, or in a big cactus area filled with prickly pear, choya, ocotillo, or out in some rolling hills that just seem like grasslands looking for scalies. It's all so unique, so many different types of environments you can find yourself hunting in, and it just makes it a lot of fun chasing birds out here. And in this video, we're going after all three species, Mern's quail, gambles and scaled quail so we're gonna get into it now and yeah i hope you guys enjoy following along through the different environments that we hunted these birds in and it just makes it a pretty cool and unique place to hunt when you're chasing after all these desert quail Good bird. Fetch here. Good job. Man. Nice work. Well, good morning. It's a little cooler in the desert today. It's in the 30s right now, and we got a little weather moving in, rolling in later this afternoon. Some high winds and some possible rain that's coming through the area. So we're trying to get a hunt in or two this morning, but we're jacked up with uh, some adrenaline because a few guys have came in to hunt with us. <clears throat> Our buddies Joe and Kyle are here. So we're gonna run a couple dogs this morning and see what we turn up. Hopefully everybody gets some shooting and action in and it should be a good time. It's always fun to get everybody together and do a little bit of hunting. And uh, yeah, we're gonna turn dogs loose and see what we come up with this morning. So it should be a really fun walk. All right, Send him. I think we're ready. Yeti. I got a GPS alert, but yet he's on point. He was 180 yards away. He should be out in front of Kyle here. There he is right there.
Yeah. Come here. Give. Nice work, Raz. I screwed him though. Because I shot. The single and then the covey. The single got up. got up right here and the covey got up. Right in front of them? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what happened because I heard the shot and then seen the birds. There's one single straggler that ran down here that I shot off and that, yeah. that blew the covey. Yeah. That was my bad. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, man. We all get excited. Well, that was a pretty fun walk that we had with everybody the other day. Everyone did some shooting. Everyone came out with a bird or two in their bag. And yeah, it's just always a good time when you get the guys together to go on a hunt and do some shooting together and you get into a few birds. Now today we're out here chasing Mern's quail. We've left the desert behind for a little bit steeper, hillier, rockier, mountainous terrain. And the goal for today is try and get Joe his first Mern's quail. He hunted with us down here last year, but the Mern's quail evaded him. So we're gonna do some climbing today and see if we can get into some Mern's and hopefully get Joe a few shots at some birds. The sun is just coming up now. And like I mentioned the other day when we hunted, we had some weather that had rolled through, high winds, and we got some snow. And there's still a little bit of snow left here where we're hunting this morning. So it should make for a pretty cool morning to hunt in. A little bit of snow, you usually don't have that while you're hunting down here, but it looks cool laying on the side of these mountains. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a really good time. So I'm excited. Justin's gonna get a couple dogs out. I'm gonna get a dog out. And yeah, we're gonna go have a good time and hopefully run into a few birds and get some shooting in. So with that said, let's get to it. Joe, you look like you're ready to rock. You've never looked better. I'm doing good. Let's get it, boys. Freaking Jack. All right. <laughs> The old side by side loaded up. Is it? Yep. Nice. Nice. Came over. Let's keep going up. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Right there. Whoa. Got it. Nice shot. Good 
Good job, Joe. Nice shot, Joe. <laughs> yeah, this was some stuff to get through. <laughs> Ooh. Nice bird. That's what you're after. Awesome. Nice big mature male. That's what you're after. Nice shooting. Thank you. That's what we came up here to do. Nice work, Joe. Thanks, boys. Good job making nice the trek up years. here. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that was nice. So you crossed that, had to flush all by yourself with yep. dogs. Thought fell down the f I seen that for you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, f oh. Now I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a cool spot right here. Right. Yeah, Aspen's on point down here. She's right on this side hill. Heads up, Joe. Nice job. When I knew you were right up there, I didn't want to shoot right in front of you. Yeah, no, I was trying to get a camera. I figured it'd fly away. I was trying to get close to you. Aspen's on point right up here. just up over this ridge. There she is right there. The bird. Dead bird, find. Good job, Aspen. Nice work. Good job. Come here. Good job, girl. Thank you. Good job, girl. Nice job, Aspen. That was a pretty good covey. I ended up shooting a hen. This was the first bird to take flight. I shot this hen and then a couple males took flight after and I whiffed on one of those. I knew it was a hen too. I'm trying not to shoot hens, but this has been a really long walk. We've been going through some steep crap. Aspen's pads are all tore up. She had a nice find here on the covey and I just wanted to reward her for our hard work we've been doing. Come here, girl. Come here, Aspen. Good job, girl. Nice job. 
Good job. You've been putting in some work coming through these hills and these rocks. I know your pads are shot right now. You're bleeding pretty good. Come here. Come here, Aspen. Let's see them. Yeah, that's where you're bleeding from on that foot. Come here. You're bleeding pretty good on that one. Good job, girl. Thanks for the effort. Aspen's back on point up this ridge. She worked her way up into the wind and went up here 70 yards and went on point. I got a little terrain to climb to get to her. I see her now. She's just on the other side of these trees. Dead bird! Dead bird! Nice job, Aspen. Nice work. Fetch. Good job, girl. Here. Good girl, give. Nice work, Aspen. That's a nice mature male. That's the bird we've been looking for. Look at that. <laughs> Man, it never gets old. Especially on a day like today. This is just beautiful out here. Really cool, unique country. The snow added in is just an extra bonus. Beautiful looking birds, excellent dog work. Moments like this, this is what you do it for. I'm just gonna take a moment and soak this in. This is some uh, rough terrain, as I've mentioned a couple times that we've been going through and to get some high level dog work like that and be able to make the shots when it counts, running into birds and dogs grinding it out. Man, I don't know. It's what you do it for, I guess, moments like this. This is when all your hard work, it all boils to one point. And uh, to say we're at the top of the mountain is quite literal right now. So I'm gonna soak this in for a minute, enjoy my view and call Aspen back here and just enjoy our time together. Well, we are back in the desert today. And before we get into that, I just wanna to touch on our Merns hunt that we had yesterday. That was a really, really awesome walk we had with the three of us. And Joe was able to cap off his hunt with a, with a really nice male Merns that he shot. Got some good dog work, nice pointed birds. And they moved on and found a few more coveys and I split another direction and Aspen found a covey and I was able to take two birds out of it. And so yeah, just overall, really, really awesome walk that we had in some really beautiful country and that snow being sprinkled in that we had. That was a, I don't know, I keep uh, trying to find the right words for that hunt, but I keep coming up short. So I'm gonna leave it at that and enjoy my memories from that walk. And uh, we're gonna roll in today's hunt now. We're back out in the desert, like I said, and I took Fox out this morning. Justin grabbed one of his dogs, Rose, as well. And we came into a covey fairly quick right off the road. And the covey split up and started working some singles and Fox went over and pointed a group of 
probably three or four gambles. A few of them took off, took flight. She wanted to break and chase, and I got her back and refocused, got her to stand there on point again, and I walked up, and one last bird took flight out of there, and I knocked it down, and she made a really nice retrieve on it. So I was really, really happy to see the dog work out of Fox there on that, and uh, yeah, got a couple birds on that walk, did a little shooting, and now we're gonna just keep rolling on through the day and see what else we can find. Fox. Fox is on point right here. Whoa. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good girl, fetch here. Good job, Fox. Here, here. Good job, fetch here. Fetch here. Good job. Nice work, Fox. Good job. Nice job, girl. Yeah, Fox came over here, went on point, a few birds got up. I got her to stop and stand there still and ignore the birds taking flight. She stood there and I came over and one last one came out and I made the shot. That shot felt like I was back at home. That bird got up on the other side of some trees and I had to shoot through some stuff to get to it. I felt right at home like I was grouse hunting. You ready? Ember. This is a pretty cool and unique spot. It's got all this prickly pear. It's a good spot for gambles quail. Because it's good cover for them. And the prickly pear also produces a fruit that the gambles quail will eat. So we're just gonna zigzag our way through this. Try not to get poked because they do have some pretty sharp spines. More just took off here. Dead bird. There's more, there's more. Jo Joe, get ready. Fetch here. Come here, Ember. Fetch here. Come here, Ember. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Heel. Hey, give. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Give. Nice work. That was some fast action gambles quail here. This covey's been spread out and running on us. Dogs have been pointing a little bit. There's one more. Nice. Nice shot. Come here. Here. Give. 
see him do that maneuver. Now. Yeah, I did. Nice stinker. Nice shot. Thank you. We're on point right here. Heads up, Joe. Coming to you. Well, it took off out of this bush and flew straight at Joe, so I didn't have a shot right away. And I was trying to let him get a shot at it. We well, ended up coming up empty. Well, that walk through the prickly pear that we had was a lot a lot of fun it was a really cool and neat environment to go through and that's the fun thing about this place it seems like everywhere you hunt is just a little bit different you can go from the mountains and rocky terrain down to the dry desert and grasslands and then even to you know places that are loaded with cactus like that prickly pear patch and this morning we've made our way back into the mountains to go hunt in Mern's quail and if you could Help me with a warm welcome to Mrs. Uplander. This is my wife, Bonnie. Hi. And she's made the, the trip down here to hunt with us for a few days. And this morning we're going after Mern's quail. These are tight holding birds and usually get pretty good dog work and good shots at the birds. So that's what we're hoping for this morning and trying to get Bonnie a few shots at birds and see if she can connect on one. <laughs> so it should be a really good time regardless of what happens. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm pumped up, I'm excited. It's an absolutely awesome morning. It's cool out right now, about 35 degrees and we've got the sun coming up and it's just gonna be a picture perfect day. So hopefully we find a few birds flushing along the way and. Let's see what we get into. Okay. Yeti's on point up here. I think we got a couple dogs stacked up on point. Yeah, that was a bit of a poke. The dogs were stacked up on point over here. I didn't make it up there. Justin was up there. Dead bird. Justin's dog, Whiskey, has the bird. Nice job. There's a couple of dogs on point through the rest of the hill. Thank you. Welcome. Nice shot. There's the poke. Yeah, it was. Well, this is what it's all come down to. This is going to be our last walk through the desert. For at least myself, Justin's gonna be down here a little bit longer than I am, but we're getting ready to head back and make the trip back to Michigan tomorrow. But today we're dressed for success. So I don't have much else to say other than we're gonna go out and have a good time. See what we can find. You ready? Huh? 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 Yeah, just scattered up here, right here, Bonnie. Come. Good girl, Amber. Fat chair. Good girl. Come here. Give. Good job, Ember. Nice work. How did you know there was one there? Ember stopped. Ember stopped and pointed right there. Good job, girl. Well, that's going to wrap up our time that we spent down here in the desert chasing these quail. It was a lot of fun, always a good time. I always look forward to doing this. These birds are so much fun to hunt, and especially when you can get into different types of covers to find different species of quail. It makes it a lot of fun for an uplander and just hunting with your dogs. There's never a bad day down here going out with your dogs because you're usually going to get into birds and it's always a good time. So this is going to wrap up the 23-24 season as well. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed following along. Thank you for following along. It's always so much fun bringing these hunts to everybody and being able to share with like-minded people everything that we all enjoy. Good dogs, good company, and good hunting. If you guys want to follow along with what Justin's up to, Northern Forest Gun Dogs, I'll drop a link down in the description. Go check out his channel and what he's up to. He's got a little bit more time that he's spending down here following his dogs. And we're going to make our trek back to the cold and snowy world of Michigan that we live in. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or any thoughts or comments on, you know, content during the off season, we're trying to come up with a list of some new things to do to get us through the next few months until we're ready to chase birds again. So I would definitely appreciate the feedback. Drop something in the comment below. And with that said, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for following along this entire season. And I'll see you guys back out here again next year in the 24-25 season. But until then, we'll catch you somewhere. Good luck out there.